Now what I'm going to do is focus a little bit more on the head. So I'm going to zoom in, add a bit more geometry. I double click this edge and scale it. By double clicking the edge, I get to select the entire edge loop. Do a little bit of sculpting on the neck. Insert an edge loop. Change some of the geometry. I'm going to select this whole head. Be careful of my selection. Move it forward just a little bit. Grow my selection. Move it all forward a little bit. Do a little sculpture here on the eyes. Excuse me, the forehead area. Shrink this down. Now I'm going to add a nose and a mouth, but I want to socket them in just like I did my shoulder. Okay, so the trick is, is to add enough geometry here so that I can socket in a nose and socket in a mouth. So I'm going to get my insert edge loop tool and I'm going to start to do some sculpting. I'm going to hit B and I'm going to shape my pig. Going to insert another edge loop here. And I'm going to start to, start to watch for when this starts to get four sides here on the nose and on the mouth so that I can socket in some geometry. Do a little bit of sculpting. I'm going to bring this top part in a lot higher, a lot tighter, and add some more geometry. Pull it out just a bit. And one more piece of geometry. Now, one thing you want to know about geometry is keep it evenly spaced. You don't want too much of a spread on your geometry. So I think this is starting to look okay for a mouth. So what I'm going to do on on this particular section is select four images, excuse me, four faces, and I'm going to extrude interior. You can see I get a nice edge loop around the mouth. This is really important to have this. See this edge loop here around the mouth? That's what I'm looking for. I can extrude one more time and pull in a mouth. And then I could grab these faces and push this in. I don't quite have enough geometry, so I'm going to wait a little bit and hit B and just kind of shrink this down. Okay, so we're almost ready to sock it in the nose, but one mistake you don't want to make is to have the nose right up against the mouth here. So we want to have a space between the nose and the mouth. So I'm going to insert another edge loop right here. And I'm going to sculpt this mouth and just drop it down a little bit. I'm going to hit B so I can soft select and bring down my soft selection so it's smaller. And push the mouth down a little lower. And then I'm, I'm going to socket the nose into here, into this area. So I'm going to go to face mode, select these four faces. And I'm going to extrude and pull the nose down. And then extrude again and pull the nose out. I'm going to scale to flatten it a little bit. And now I'm going to work on sculpting because it's a bit of a mess and it doesn't have, it's, it's not very loose here in this area. So I'm going to take some time and sculpt this out. I 
and it's not going to look exactly right at first. One of the problems that, that I'm having is the geometry is so tight. There's one way to, to manipulate this and fix it to loosen up my geometry. I'm going to make a selection here. Well, let's say about of this many, of this much geometry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Mesh, and I'm going to say Average Vertices. And I'm going to change my iteration to 1 right here. I'm going to hit Apply, and it's going to loosen up my geometry. I'm going to select this mouth area, grow my selection by hitting Shift Period, and just loosen it up just a little bit. So that's going to loosen up my geometry, but it's also going to change my sculpt quite a bit. So I have to go back through and do a little bit more reshaping. I want a fairly large nose on this pig. Okay, now I'm going to work primarily on one side of my model, and I'm also going to turn off the visibility of my pig blocks. They're just getting in the way. And I'm going to work on sculpting this face. Um, I like my edge flow, and I like the geometry I have. I just don't like the shape of the whole thing. So I'm going to go around and just on the vert level sculpt this thing out. And it just entails a lot of rotation of your model. Think of it as working in clay at this point. Now I want to show you something. If, if you feel like there is a piece, if there's geometry that you don't like, for example, if you think it's in the way and it's not working out for you, you can remove it. Um, there's a certain way you're going to want to move, remove geometry. So let's say, for example, that I don't like this edge loop right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edge Mode and double click this edge right here. When you want to delete geometry, you can't just hit delete. Otherwise, it's going to leave the vertices there. So what you need to do is go to Edit Mesh and Delete Edge or Vertex. And that'll properly remove the edges. Let's say I want to delete this edge too. I'm just going to double click. And same thing. I can hit G this time and it repeats the process. And that'll help simplify this so that while I'm working, I can have I can work in a more easy fashion. And that'll help simplify this. So I'm going to continue to sculpt, focusing mainly on this one side. And once you get fairly happy with your sculpt, then you're going to want to add in some geometry. Close the mouth just a little bit more. And I'm going to work out the nose just a little bit more here. And I'm fairly happy with the way this is looking in a general way.